I think what probably a lot of people are concerned about now is we're going from, from campaign, from rhetoric, from symbol, from trope, to official government policy. <clears throat> New administration will have the power, so it will be President Trump, and when he says Muslim ban, that's different than candidate Trump looking for votes. Um, and Juan, you use a sort of chilling phrase about, you know, targeted by the Department of Justice, as if this can, can happen. So what's your level of concern in terms of where this is going to go as we move into official government policy? I think there are two issues with uh, here. One is government policy. Yeah. So uh, remarks that uh, Mr. Trump has made in the past year suggest that he would like to go back to uh, the 50s in a way and create a class of Americans who are second class citizens. That's what Jim Crow was for African Americans. There was a separate set of laws, what they could do, where they could go, which bathroom they could use, which school they could go to, and so forth. So they were constrained in a way that white Americans were not, and that was formalized in state law and was allowed by federal law and, and, until certain court cases came up and until the, uh, uh, the legislations of, of 1964. Uh, I think he has suggested that there might be a registry. Muslims might have to register. Uh, and uh, he was asked, you know, what's the difference between that and, and the Nazis having the Jews register? And he didn't, didn't answer that question. Uh, it would be possible for him to designate Muslim-majority countries as special security risks and to have extra caution about people coming here from those countries. That could be done by an executive order. Uh, it couldn't be done, I think, probably on a religious basis. He'd have to designate the country. But that would be easy to do, and it's the kind of thing that's done all the time in the State Department. Um, so th that's an issue. And then mm -hmm. government appointees, uh, mm -hmm. access to government jobs, uh, security clearances, all of those things. Again, certain special laws, special regulations could be implemented with regard to Muslims. One countervailing uh, uh, factor here is, is that some members of his likely administration wouldn't agree with these things. So for instance, Chris Christie uh, appointed a, Mus uh, a Muslim court judge. Mm -hmm. And when he was criticized uh, for that by um, fellow members of the Republican Party, he said, I'm not going to put up with that Islamophobic bull****. So uh, that doesn't sound very much like uh, the, the president-elect. Uh, and uh, so there could be pushback inside the administration in some instances. The other, the other issue besides government action is it's always, I think, intellectually uh, in bad taste to bring up the Nazis. But I think we really have to get used to this that what happened in places like the Sudetenland, which was part of Czechoslovakia, was that these ga Nazi gangs started fights. And when there was a pushback against them, Hitler came out and said, well, our Germans are under attack. We need to have the Sudetenland join the homeland. And so he, he took it away from Czechoslovakia. Uh, but it was, it was this gang activity on the ground that started that process. And so you could, uh, you could see pogroms, uh, basically. Uh, if, if that kind of rhetoric continued and was encouraged from the highest office in the land.